Yo, 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 this is your boy JX Flex back at again, man. This is my first time trying to do this here. So if y'all got any advice about this camera, the camera settings on how I, it can make it look like it's right and everything, because it looked like to me, I'm looking at the camera, it's kind of looking like it's going like, it's like the opposite of direction, it's like in reverse or anything else like that. But let me know in the comment section. So right here, man, we got here how to work on yourself after going through a ish storm, <laughs> most likely. Um, shoot, what I got it down right here is uh, first things first, right here. If you can see, yeah, you got focus on God, read, study, and applying it. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you right here. With me, I do have to practice what I preach on this. So, pretty much, it's like I'm going from trying to get myself together and applying it. Like, when you're reading the scriptures and you're going through a lot of stuff in life. And when you know you have to apply the word and apply it on your daily life and everything else, it gets kind of challenging right here. I wouldn't want to say the word hard all the time because when you say things, you're speaking into existence. So it's very much of a good challenge to it. But when you ever look at it, it's like, oh, I mean, I'm reading the word, but now I got to apply this thing. And then be like, yo, your flesh is very tempting. So it's always be tempting you all the time. So it's be like, dude, you don't have to apply the word and everything like that. You can just read it. It's one thing to read it and know it, but then it's another to apply it. You have to apply all three. You have to read it, know it, and apply it. And so pretty much right here, you want you studying it and applying it. Like the Bible says, show the, study to show that word to be approved. That's it, basically. Okay? So when you're going through life and stuff like that, I know God comes first really does he really comes first like seriously so it's just like whatever you're going through in life you know talk talk to him like you're talking to anybody hey you can even talk to him because you know just let him know because he already knows what you're going through basically he already knows what's going on through you inside and outside he's just like oh god man i'm scared i'm going to talk talk to god like this and everything else should i start to yes talk to god like that talk to him because Pretty much, you're by yourself in your secret chambers. Pray to him. Talk to him. Because he already knows. He'll give you a solution to the problem, man. And so, number two, body game. Okay, you already know. When I just say JS flex, I flex. So, I go to the gym. So, I'm still learning new to the game about, you know, recording workouts. You know, doing this. Getting, them from, getting away from being in the camera shy and being in front of front of the audience and working out and stuff like that. I know, I know, I know. I mean, you can't show your self-improvement of working out if you can't show your workout videos and everything else. That's something I had to get used to. So basically, you gotta go to the gym. This is for all my fellows out here, man. Guys, when you're going through a lot of problems in life, the gym helps wonders. And I'm gonna tell you why it helps wonders. First of all, when you're working out, give it to about the next two to three days, you're gonna find yourself getting more organized. You're gonna start looking at the dopamine receptors in your brain that's gonna be telling you like, you know, you're getting that reward system because you working hard for it. You know, you hide, you sweating, and, and you're putting that effort in, and your body and your mind is telling you to give up, but you keep going, pressing forward. And then when you're doing that, and you keep pressing forward, you start seeing the results. I'm starting by saying that, man, I get my chest good, my arms looking good, good. I'm not trying, you know, I'm getting rid of this man tits, and I'm also going ahead and don't. Bro, I'm getting, I'm starting working on my abs, I'm starting getting organized with my life and everything. Body game works. Let me tell you something. Body game works, fellas. Once you get into that body game, it works wonders, man. Just stay on cold, stay on point, man. You know, there's a lot of other pointers and YouTube videos and stuff like that. I look like Bully Juice, Goku, I know it's like Goku Pump, Brawly Gangs, Mr. Duty. I'm going to call him Mr. Duties. Mr. Duties. That's the dude right there for you. Um, Shoot. I do Shanti workouts. I do, man, shoot. Just look at everything. Because imagine, even if it's in the law of attraction, imagine the perfect body. Imagine that body that you want. And then focus on that all the time. Like anytime you listen to music, anytime you are actually exercising, picture that body in your mind and stick to it. I always got a goal. I always got that goal for a bulk lean body to get that Rambo 2 cut, you know. <laughs> so always get into that, man. 
So pretty much, this is what you have to do. Body game is very much a symptom. It also helps you become attractive to, to the ladies as well. Because they see that. They see the appearance. Appearance is everything. Like, fellas, don't get it twisted like this. Yes, we look at women. We uh, we do. We look at the women. We look at the physical features in their body. But don't think they're looking at us, too. Like, some women like chubby guys. Some women like, like big guys a little bit. But, look, health is well, fellas. Shoot. Not, we ain't, we're not going to look like we're 12 or 15 months pregnant. That's all we're going to do. Because I can tell you a lot about that. There's a lot of parasites in that stomach. And we eat a lot of junk food and stuff that make us look like that, man. So, here in 2023, the rest of the whole year, yo, we're going to stop that as well. So, let me get on to number three right here. So, the mind game, meditation and reading. Okay, meditation and reading? Man, I know we're in a fast-paced economy here and we're going through all these ups and downs. We're going through a whole lot. And, man, pretty much it's like our attention spans just go through out the window. It's like sometimes we have a hard time sitting down watching a five or seven or 10 minute video and then all of a sudden like psh, it's all out the way see the thing about that here's the answer to that the key one of the keys to actually be able to sit down and be able to meditate and do your reading and everything is to meditate and that's part of your mind game because half the time a lot of stuff is going in our head every day 24 7 it's going like you got 30 to 60 thousand thoughts Sorry about that. <laughs> I know I'm country, but you got thirty to sixty thousand thoughts in your head, going through that every day, and you was like, "Dude, which thought do I need to pick on?" And your body just selects certain thoughts, and it just be like negative and negative. So sometimes you just have to sit down, and you just have to meditate, and you got to find your right meditation music, and you really have to go ahead and you know focus on that. Like right now, I don't know if you can hear the sound of that. That's that old school Star Fox character, well, control selection right there. I grew up on that. I meditate on that too. Sometimes, you know, you just have to sit down, calm your mind and say, hey, we're gonna calm down, chill for the day. We're gonna get the day started. We're gonna get it done. You know, reading also fundamental. It helps your vocabulary out. It helps you increase your vote. It helps you increase your knowledge. It, help, it helps everything. Find a book, a motivational book, or basically find something that's going to help do a self-transformation that's going to help better your life okay all right so here we are right now we're going to the fourth one right here let's see here emotional game now fellas i'm gonna tell you this way emotions sometimes is not our good as strong points you gotta look at it like this our strong points in our emotional game I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Women are good at dealing with that when somewhere of dealing with emotions. But it's kind of in, it's like they can't control it. But in some way, when dealing with itch storms or breakups or something, they can get over it real quick like that. So with us as men, dealing with our emotions, you have to understand that emotions just emotions. And it's just going to flow and it's going to really pretty much flow through. You got to let it go flow through and not stop it. Just let your emotions go through. Ask yourself, sit down, ask yourself this question this. Why am I mad? Well, I'm mad because such and 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 such. Then here comes where the mind game comes into place. And it'd be like, well, let's do some logic here for a second. You're mad because you're X, Y, and Z and everything else. You're mad because you're in the position that you're in right now. You're mad because you don't like it. So what are you going to do about it to change it? This person did this to you. You think this person cared about you? you think this person, it, It's all in the mind because we let our emotions. And most of the time in our emotions, what happens with everybody that deals with emotions? Negativity. Gosh, I hate that. But negativity is part. We got to set the good and the bad. Bad. Just like light and darkness, good and evil, truth and lie. That's what we have to accept it. Because, yeah, it's a part of life. Ain't nobody's perfect. Understand that. that just letting you know about that. Because no one's perfect. Yeah. But practice on controlling the negative and receiving the positive. 
this is a part of another way of understanding that, yo, this is a part of gratitude, man. Understanding that when you accept the negative, sometimes take it back to gratitude. So take basically take it back to the positivity, man. Just really go with the flow with that. And it's best to do that. Go with the flow and turn a negative into a positive. And then when you start looking around you, say, hey, you know what? I'm thankful for my arms, legs, teeth, nose, mouth, ears, I everything. And some people, you know, they, they look, thank you, thank God you got a room. You got a room, you got a car, you got a job. A lot of people is basically some of them are very unfortunate not to have these things. So it's basically, you know, just use the power of gratitude with it. And the power is just the part of receiving positivity. Now, money game. Money game is very much essential. It's the big part of things in life. I tell people all this all the time. It's like when you're working at a job, that money's not your money. That's the job's money. That's the corp that's the company's money. Anytime at any given at any given moment, they can take, they can fire you at any given cost. So you, and I live by these three principles. One, expect the unexpected. Two, never judge a book by its cover. And three, never, ever, ever put all your eggs in one basket. This is why the money game is important. Here, you got to learn, you got to learn the best gig apps to have. Now, normally, you know, when you're off on your, when you're off on work or anything, you got DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Walmart Sparks. You have those other things, especially during medical carrier jobs that can basically help you pay up to about 250, well, no, 200, but $2,500 a week. So pretty much, you know, get on that hustle because guess what? If anything goes wrong, if something happens, you got a big fat F you right there and say, listen, you're not going to stop my money game. I got more other options available to help me get some income coming in. And really... You know, even with real estate, there are real estate apps that can help you be able to uh, be able to work on your real estate portfolio and making money. Even YouTube, like, shoot, just do a YouTube channel. Find some light, find some lighting, the camera equipment and stuff. Over time, you're gonna have, you're gonna make it happen. It's gonna be good, man. So, and also learn about investments. That's, that's going to be the key feature to get you out of that 9 to 5 rat race. Just get out of it. For real. That's all you have to do. So, now, we got the discipline game. Discipline. That's the very key focal point. One of the key focal points in being in males and us guys. Discipline is key. Now, I know you're going to go through a lot of problems. I know you're going to go through a lot of emotions and everything. And I know people are going to tell you discipline, discipline. You've seen everybody with their success and they're talking about discipline, discipline, discipline. And you're letting your emotions really keep you distracted and keep you getting in the way of basically discipline. Basically, when you're looking at the emotional game, the emotional game can mess up a whole lot. Real talk, a whole lot. This is why the discipline game comes in coherence with focus on God, body game, mind game, and getting in under control with these emotions. So, apparently, that game in itself with emotions is a very critical part of life. So, but discipline, first of all, semen retention. I always talk about that in my videos. Semen retention is basically key to discipline. Fellas, I know right now, this is where I come back to saying focus on God. Like sometimes you're going to tell God, say, God, I'm about to go to the bathroom and watch porn. Stop it. You're going, you're going to have the discipline with it. Or let God know. Or go for days and weeks without it. Because it affects the mind. It affects the attitude. It affects the body. It affects everything. Trust in me. Like I always say, you're not alone. You're not alone, fellas. You're not basically alone with this. So I'm just, let, I'm just letting you know about this whole situation. So you're not alone with it. So, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, I had to make some adjustments and everything. I didn't want the camera thing to slip or 
you know, make sure there's no loud noise and other extra noise and anything else. So back and continue with this. I apologize. So, um, seeking retention. Seeking retention is the best way to have that discipline in yourself. Most importantly, it keeps you focused, focusing on your goals, keeps you disciplined. It, it, it's like, why I say it this way, seeking retention works well with the body game. Also, um, focus on your daily goals, short term and short and long term. Now, me personally, I have this problem with writing down things and stuff. And it's like, man, I got to write this down, write this and write this. I feel like it's not much of a good time. Like, it's too much time wasting for me. But writing things down are a key importance to also help get the thoughts out of your head. And write how things, how you really feel about certain things in life. Real talk. So, pretty much, you have to write your goals down. If Even if it's long term, short term. Um, so, pretty much, you got to stay disciplined with it. I know it's pretty much, there's a lot on this, on the discipline game. And that's something that, throughout the journey in your life, you become to get more of an understanding in your own terms of what discipline is to you. Me, personally, is like keeping myself grounded and you know just me working towards that and keeping myself more focused on it so you know keeping up keeping this thing and taking one day one step at a time now friendships (sighs) friendships now how do i look at it like this in life you're gonna have i remember i made this I think I made a I made a story about this. I don't know if they call it a theory or a hypothesis or whatever. I made a story about this, about friendships. They say you are who you keep around, right? In your friendship. So think about it for it this way. If you hang around with six millionaires, you're gonna be the seventh one. If you hang around people who want to lead a lifestyle a certain lifestyle that you want, you're gonna hang around with those people. If you want to hang around with people that just wanna play video games all day, by all means, you're gonna be whatever the number of the person you are just playing video games all day. But if you hang around, if they want to play video games and make money off of it, you're gonna be the 10th, the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th person that's going to be the next person to make it in video games on that squad. You have to have people who you have to be around you have to look at your friends and sometimes they give certain things they give certain good advices and everything but sometimes in life i think that don't ever feel like sometimes you're going to feel alone in life that you are not around a lot of people who thinks like you who's not like-minded i want to say who really thinking basically of where or just like you that where they want to go I'm saying don't get rid of your old friends or nothing like that. Nah, I don't want to tell you to do that like that. But however, you could be in a group of friends. And it could be 10 of you guys. And one person may decide that they want to go to the military. The other person may decide they want to go into catering arts and everything. You're going to start seeing your group of friends that you hang out with. They're going to go without notice. They're going to just, they're not going to say, hey, guys, I'm going to the military or, hey, guys, I'm going to do this. And they're, they're not, and, and then they leave and they'd be like, dude, why can't I get in contact with them? What's going on? And I think there's another story to that because me personally, I can tell you countless times that I have seen this and it has been like, it comes off as shady, it comes off as fake, and it comes off as crazy. And a lot of people look, you know, I think a lot of guys might have looked at it differently. So when you're doing hang around, when I say hang around with people that have the same mindset as you, when you want to achieve your goals, like and there's been people, I seen people on YouTube, I seen people that are in squads together and they know they got to get, they know that if two minds, two heads are better than one, two minds, they think like, bro, sky's the limit. They know the importance of Working together as a team. I mean, heck, everybody can be a lone wolf. Everybody can go out there and be a lone wolf and everything. 
But let's be honest with this situation here. If you if around a person that thinks like you say, look, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm doing this too. Yeah. Hey, let's put our heads together and make it happen. Right. Okay, let's do that. Now, when you do find those type of a person or a group of people, don't ostracize your other friends because they don't have the same mindset as you. And that's another thing that gets people really tripped out about it. Because they're a way of where they want to go in life. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. I know it's easy said and done. And I know they've been rocking with you since y'all was teenagers, early 20s. And they was rocking with you guys. But however... They're going to have a mindset that they want to get something better and they want to do something on their own. And most likely, times out of the 10, they don't have to report an answer to no one to tell them what they're doing. I know it sucks sometimes, but listen, you're going to get through with it. God hasn't you know, left you out. He's just separating you from that moment so you can defend, you know, depend on him. And he's going to set you with the right people. I know, because... Waiting on God is another thing, you know, it's patience, man. It's really patience. It comes with um, it comes with discipline and it comes with controlling this emotion. And this is like, you know what? This is like the, the big thing right here when dealing with your emotions. So we want instant gratification and then when we don't get it, our emotions playing that part like little children and we get pissed the F off. So I hope, you know, I know this has been like a 21 minute mark video or whatnot, but uh, this is my version of how to work on yourself when going through a ish storm. So I'm going to say you're not alone. Hey, flex out. Keep it up, man. Stay prayed up. Be safe. Peace.